name is Nikki, but my name ain't Nicole. Name ain't Nicole. Thank you and you. I'm fine. Thank you and you. I'm fine. Thank you and you. Hey everyone, <clears throat> welcome back to my channel. Sorry about that. Um, today is a Friday, and if you are not new, then you know what that means. If you are new, today is Friday, so that means it is Face Charge Friday here on my channel. I've been doing this for almost two years now. Um, basically all that means is either I get sent a face chart or one of my friends chooses a face chart or I pick the face chart myself and I attempt to recreate it here for you all to see. This face chart was chosen by my niece Natasia because she was in my, I was, we were all together at my sister's house and she saw me on my phone. She's like, what's that? And I was like, I gotta pick one and she chose this one because she likes blue just like I like blue. Um, so I'm gonna be doing this one and... I'm not talking. Um, for the record, if while I'm doing this, because some people are new, they don't know, um, and I'm looking down, it's because my phone is here and I have the picture on my phone and I gotta look at it, so, you know, to make sure I'm using the right stuff. But other than that, everything is here. I'm only using one palette. This is the Morphe Your True Selfie 15T palette. So I'm gonna be using that. I'm going to be using the brown shades out of here. I will show them in the video when I get ready to use them. I'm using these two lip products. One is from Etude the House, this sort of Korean brand. Um, I bought it, well, actually my friend Brianna got this for me for Christmas. And so I'm using their uh, multiple use pencil in number 14. And then the Eddie Funkhauser Twisted Kisses in Once Bitten. I have my concealer here. I always combine my Eddie, this is my second one, the other one is done. And this is also a new ColourPop one, I finished both. I finished two concealers. Uh, this is Eddie Funkhauser's Medium 16 Hour 4 Way Concealer. Then my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Dark 36, Medium Dark 36. And then I have my brushes here. I will also be using um, this uh, Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, Skin Frost in the shade Deep Freeze. If you don't like him, that's totally fine. Um, then I'm going to be using, I'm also going to be using this Bretman Rock and Colourpop um, uh, Glitterly Obsessed in the shade OMG I'm Wet. So, I have talked about everything I need to use. For the record, I'm not going to do the contouring on camera or my lashes on camera because, I don't know, I just don't do that. Or my liner. Sometimes I do the liner, like, sometimes I don't. I'm not going to do it today because... It's not a very thick line. It's a really thin line, and I'm probably not gonna do a wing because I don't think she has a wing in in the face. Try. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell, but I might do a baby wing. I don't know. But yeah. So let's get into this chart, shall we? So the first things first, I'm going to set my phone down so that I can um, whoa, -oh, knocking stuff down. Get the phone ready. I'm going to be using the shades from this palette, I want to cover this mirror so I don't blind anybody. Because the ring light is on. So I'm going to be using the shades Strike a Pose, Morphe Babe, and No Filter Needed. So, let me go this way. Uh, Strike a Pose is this one here. Uh, woke Up Like This, sorry not Morphe Babe. Woke Up Like This is this one here. And then No Filter Needed is this brown shimmer. I'm going to use those three shades from there. Um, so I won't be talking during that part, I'm just going to go in the order that I showed you of these shades. And then I am going to do the blue. So. And I think it, it might be a little brighter. Hold up, let me adjust this ring light. So it's gonna fall down. I like, whoopsies. Um, might be a little brighter because I turned the ring light up because, I don't know, it looked dark to me. Um, and also I thought that brown shade in here, 
No filter needed would be more shimmery, but it's not really. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm looking at it right now, and it don't look that shimmery. So, I got my ABH Prism Palette because the shade in here, Eternal, no, actually, there are two in here that I'm going to use together. I'm going to combine Eternal and Sphinx. So, that's this one and that one. I'm going to combine the two of them together to get the effect that I want it because that shade, no filter needed, is very pretty, but it's not what I was going for. So I'm going to take Sphinx and Eternal and see if that gives me what I want. Because if not, I'm gonna have to grab the Jaclyn Hill palette. Okay, that's better. That's so much better. That's definitely better. Because I wanted it more bronze. Like, in the pan, that um, shade looks bronzed, but it didn't show up as bronzy as I needed it on my lid. And it's probably because, you know, people are like, oh, use your finger. My fingers, my fingertips are crap. So, no matter what I do, it doesn't work out too well. Then I'm gonna take the shade Parallel from this palette, which is this deep brown shade, right here. I'm gonna darken my corners because there's no deep enough brown in the 15T. I'm just gonna use this one, and I don't wanna use black. Put it there. It's so windy outside. Yay, because that's exactly how I wanted it. Um, I think I'm going to take parallel in the crease a little bit. I need a brush for my crease. And I think I'm going to use... No, I want a, I want a rounded one. I want a rounded one. I need a rounded one. This one, but we gotta take the black off of it. I just have a this towel that I use for my makeup right here, and I just. I mean, I'm gonna clean my brushes anyway because today is cleaning day. But film first and then clean. Take a little bit of parallel. I'm gonna have to tilt my head down and put it in the crease. It works for me because I mean the eye is not intense until you get to the inner corner as you can see in the picture whichever side I'm gonna put it on don't know yet but like all of this is basically normal and then here but I want to put a little color oh hello I want to put a little color there so it doesn't look so plain I don't know that's because my eyelashes are still like my eyelashes are my natural my natural eyelash color is brown so sometimes I can't see them so I'm like why does it look weird um, because you can't see my eyelashes. Um, next, I'm going to conceal some stuff. Now, I don't usually do my concealer on camera, but I got a comment under one of my videos, and they're like, how do you do your concealer? So I'm going to show you how I do it. It's really simple. I, got, I combine two. So I'm going to open my mirror. Well, open this palette so I can get the mirror. And then tilt that that way. And I'm first going to take... And no, I'm not gonna dust that off. Um, I'm gonna cover it with concealer. Um, don't mind me. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I counted out. That's definitely seven. One more, cause yeah. And then that one. And then I take my Eddie Funk Houser right under, on top and underneath. I don't know, people are gonna be like, you could have just mixed them together. I do it this way, it works for me. That's the beauty of makeup. You do what works for you, not what works for everybody else. Uh oh, that was a fail. Um,
and I put a lot of concealer on the tip of my nose because you can't see it, but uh, my pores are huge all up and through here, and it looks disgusting. And I don't like for uh, my highlighter or anything to just sit in it because then you can see everything. So I definitely um, put a lot there. And I didn't wax my upper lip, so guess what? Nah, we're gonna hide it. So this is what I do. I'm gonna go off camera and blend all this in because, I mean, do you really want to see that? Um, I don't think so. Blend it in, use the powder, take the powder off, come back with lashes on my face, and the dots under my brows. Yeah, that's about it. Now I know you're probably like, what's on her face? So I used my, I didn't bring it with me, I should have brought it with me. Um, the, on my face, I combine two to three highlighters. Today, it's only two. What's on my face right now, I haven't blended it out yet, this why it looks crazy, is the Jones Cosmetics collab with a YouTuber slash makeup artist slash uh, greatness, one of my faves, Neon MUA. They have this uh, Neon Dreams uh, collection on their website and his highlight is everything and the highlighter is called neon dreams so i put that on first and then i take my hello gregory unicorn frosting which if you've been to my channel before you have seen this and then i take that and i put it on top and like on my instagram everybody's like oh you're glowing that's good there's usually two to three highlighters on my face I'm not gonna lie to y'all, it's about two to three. So, that, and then I take, this brush was meant for blush, but I definitely use it to blend my highlighters together when I use more than one. And then I know some people do the blush, like, way before they do highlight, I do my blush last. So if you're wondering why, like, there's no line there, because I haven't done my blush yet, I do that last. And the only reason it's not done is because, yeah, but that's how I do my highlight. In case you were wondering, I have all types of makeup powder on my shirt. That's great. Now we're going to put my mole back on my face, because the foundation... Has covered it but i do have a beauty mark it's not a mall it's a beauty mark right about actually you can see it a little bit it's right there so i'm just gonna put it over it because i like my beauty mark some people don't like theirs i like mine it's cute but it's literally right there one of these days i'm gonna come on camera with no makeup on my face and you'll see it but until that day i bring it back myself um I have to fix my eye because I started my eye started watering. I poked myself in the eye with my tweezers trying to put these lashes on. So now I have to take one of my flat brushes, go back into Eternal only, not Sphinx, Eternal by itself, and fix right up in there. Cause I killed it. Well, my tears killed it actually. I didn't kill it. Then I'm gonna clean that off and fix the crease by going back into Parallel. This side's darker as I get it done. Okay, and the lower lash line is simple because there is no lower lash liner. So I'm just gonna take Sphinx and Eternal, mix them together, and put that on first. Right, that, like really close, as close as I can get without putting it in my eye. And then I'm gonna take Parallel underneath it, of course. Because if you look at the picture, there's no, it's not black. The only black is obviously the lashes. And then I'm gonna take parallel just a little bit. And then Okay. And then for my bottom lashes I'm gonna take bad gapping because it's life on the lower lash line. I mean, on the lower lashes. I 
and I do this only on the edge so they don't stick because sometimes they stick at least my lashes do and that well not my lashes but the false lashes stick to my lash when I put mascara on the bottom and it annoys me so I figure if Yeah, it's hard to talk and do this. I don't know why. I can't be the only one that does that though. Uh oh, see? Oh, I ruined it. I'll fix that in a second. Nice. So then, now for inner corners, like I said, I'm going to be using the Skin Frost again if you don't like him. I don't know what to tell you. Um, this is Deep Freeze. I can't lift it because if you've been on my channel before, you know that I broke this. It is broken. So I'm gonna take this highlighter brush and uh, put all of the remnants because of course, I haven't touched this since before I got on a plane and it being on a plane, it knocked everything around. But it's this, it looks like it's this color. Um, it's really pretty blue. So I'm gonna be putting that all up and through my inner corners. I need to find a perfect brush for this. I think I'm gonna use, because it's so, oh, my phone locked on me. Because it's so much, I'm gonna be using an actual brush instead of a highlighting. I have like these mini highlighter brushes for the inner corners um, that I use. I'm sure they're meant for eyeshadow. But I use them for the inner corners, but because this is so much, I think I'm gonna be able to use an actual brush. And I'm going to use my Morphe M155, 156. Um, the double-ended one that I use 99% of the time in my videos. I'm just cleaning it off because it has a Hello Gregory highlighter on it right now. I'm going to take that off. And then, I'm just going to go into it. And... I mean, it's like, it's very bright. I'm actually going to combine two of them because this is more blue than green or like the teal turquoise, turquoise not teal, the turquoise shade. So I'm going to combine two of the skin frost to get that effect but first I must put the blue on. And then the other one I'm going to be using is mint condition but I need to clean off the desk because I just made a huge mess with this shade. Oh my god. So the other skin frost I'm going to be taking is mint condition oh, yeah. which is this shade here and i'm gonna take that this one isn't broken and i'm just gonna put it on top of that Okay, and then it's time for the glitter, which everyone pray for me because I am so scared. If you're new to my channel, I don't use glitter a lot because I'm afraid of it. For obvious reasons of losing my eyesight. Um, I don't want that to happen. I'm going to be taking this. If you've never seen this, this is really pretty glitter. Like, Colourpop and Bretman snap with this. Ah, I'm dropping every- I'm going to have stuff everywhere. Um, I had to take the cover off. But that's what it looks like on the inside. I don't want to blind anybody. Pull it back, pull it back. Not too close to the ring light. But that's what it looks like. So I'm going to be taking this. And I'm going. I'm not going to do it really close to my eye. Because, ooch out. I go blind and then, you know. That'd be the end of my makeup career, right? Right. I'm going to put it outside. Okay, you can't see it obviously now, but I'm pretty sure I'll see it in the pictures. Well, that's actually kind of cute. And I actually got the stars, because sometimes when I use this, the stars don't like stick to my face. Which is sad because they're cute. Okay. Well, then as scary as I thought it would be, no, the real, true scary part is taking it off. But I've learned that if I take some scotch tape and just, you know, wrap it around my finger backwards and do that, 
It's not as bad. Granted, I've never put it this close. I got a highlighter all on my, on my mom's desk. Well, it's everyone's desk mess that I made here because it was kind of big. Now it's on to the lips. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm going to be using an Etude House, Etude House pencil and this um, Eddie Funk Houser Twisted Kisses, one spitting. I'm going to use this one first because it's darker. I'm going to just combine the two of them. And then, of course, I'm going to top it all off with some Trophy Wise. Add a little bit of uh, black eyeliner from Eddie Funk Houser to here because if you look at the face chart or if you saw in the face chart there is dark for some reason like a little shadow type deal so I just used um, an eyeliner I don't know thought it'd be cool so that's what I did because I didn't want to put an eyeshadow because then it might you know um, like become a smoky lip and uh, just like a little like I don't know if I can show you on my phone it's like a little like right there it's like dark so it's like a little you know did that, did that. And I think for them, aside from the lashes not being the exact same, I think I like this look. However, I did not do it on camera and I did not do it yet, but I might be adding a wing just so the lashes look, like in the corners they look longer because here, it, it looks like the lashes are like super long, but again, that could be a wing. I don't know. I'm gonna do a wing. Um, but that's it, that's all. I'm not keeping this headband on, this is just to keep my hair. That's why it's like they know exactly when to call. Um, was really interrupted by the house phone. Um, I need to find a better place to film, but then again, this ringer is really loud. But um, as I was saying, I didn't want a smoky lip. That's weird. Um, I like how this turned out. I'm really nervous about this glitter though. And I'm going to do the, I am going to do the wing, I decided. Cause I was like, maybe, maybe not. I even said it before, maybe, maybe not. I'm gonna do the wing, a little baby wing. Some little bit. Um, I like this lip though. Great combination. And the Twisted Kisses, they smell really, like it smells really good for a lip product. It smells good. I like the way it smells. But that's it. That's all. Let me know in the comments if you like it. If you didn't. If you didn't, I mean, I mean, hey, I like how this turned out because freaking A, I don't use glitter on my channel at all. So this was great. Um, that's it. That's all for this week's Face Chart Friday. Yay, we got it done. I was worried I wasn't going to be able to do it because my grandma's in the hospital and just stress and I wasn't feeling good this morning. Still not feeling good. So yeah. There's that. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye.